What's up, friends? Welcome to the Scrap Trawlers channel where we do EDH on a budget. We're back! It's been a couple months. We are refreshed and we are ready to entertain you with some brand new decks here. Um, but before all of that, in addition to having new decks, we've also got a new member of the Scrap Trawlers. Everybody give it up for Bert, our newest member. Woo! <laughs> I am me. Bert, why don't you go ahead and uh, take a moment to tell everybody about yourself for those in chat who might not know who you are. Okay, well, uh, I'm Bert, a.k.a. The Pod MTG. I usually stream Magic on, over on my channel, The Pod MTG. Uh, I just love Commander. I've been playing for about 11 years at this point. Um, don't take that for skill. <laughs> um, <laughs> just, just been playing for a while. Um, I started in college and yeah, just decided to start streaming and then I, I met up with these wonderful fellows and you know, it was friendship at first sight. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Aww, big hearts, big hearts. Excellent. We're uh, we're super happy to have you here, Bert. It's uh it's an honor to have you with us and uh, I'm excited for what's to come with you. Um okay, so we've got a game tonight and our theme, uh who wants to talk about our theme? Lenny. What are we playing tonight? We are playing Artisan Commander. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, what that means is we are not running any rare cards, no mythic cards. It's just all silver and black uncommons, both in the command zone and everywhere in the 99. Absolutely. I'm excited to see what all, what all everybody put together here. Um, before we get to the deck reveal, really quick, let's go ahead and shout out our fantastic supporters over on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Scrap Trawlers. We've got several levels uh, with different uh, benefits in those tiers. Uh, something for everybody. And we greatly appreciate all of our supporters. They mean a lot to us. We've got several in chat right now. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I guess let's kick off the big old deck reveal. Nick, what the hell are you playing tonight? <laughs> so, let's circle back to Scrap Trawlers episode one. I love goblins, so I had a Kiki Jiki deck. We're kind of getting back to that, but Kiki Jiki is definitely not a common or an uncommon. But I did bring a goblin. So, we are playing Gut, True Soul Zealot. Aww. With the inspiring leader background. So the plan is to make a bunch of tokens, sacrifice a token to make a big old skeleton, which I don't have the actual skeleton token because War Machine in chat didn't bring them. But it's like <laughs> the most badass looking token in uh, Baldur's Gate. So uh, yeah, we're going to be doing a uh, Boros token aggro stuff. So looking forward to it. Pretty sweet. It's going to be uh, it's going to be punchy. Uh, Lenny, what do you got? Well, speaking of punchies, I got punchies, I got tokens, I got backgrounds on the other end of the color pie. Uh, I am running uh, Halson Emerald Archdruid with Fey Wild Visitor. So uh, I'm looking to hit some people, make some fairy dragons, and turn them into uh, berry dragons. <laughs> oh no. Ridiculous. <laughs> That's um, that's so cute. Hey, Shannibal, thanks for thanks for coming in. Um, excellent. Well, we've got not one, not two, but three background decks this evening. But thankfully, no overlaps. <laughs> I am playing. Let's see what I'm playing. So my creature is Aranus Gloomstalker. Shannibal, thank you for the cheer, friend. Much appreciated. So Aranus. Let's me bring a land from my graveyard back to play when Aranus attacks. And then the background I'm going with is Scion of Halister, which says that the first time I would draw a card each turn, instead I look at my top two and I put one into my hand and the other into my graveyard. So basically I'm going to be filling my graveyard with lands and bringing them all back with Aranus. And profit? I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of it's a it's a bit Voltroni. There's definitely some uh, some landfall stuff going on. Um, yeah, I'm just looking to have fun with my graveyard. 
Bert, what do you got? Well, I did not get the uh, background newsletter that the Char got. Um, so I only have one commander, <laughs> but it is relatively new. Uh, I am playing Minthara, Merciless Soul, um, which feels like it has background because the card does a lot. Um, but basically what we're doing is we're just playing Revolt or Revolt Tribal. We're trying to play stuff, get rid of stuff we don't need and profit. Excellent. And our creature gets stronger when we profit. It's, it's going to be great. Very excited for the variety we have here. Definitely some uh, some cool, interesting stuff going on. Um, okay, well, if everybody's ready, I think we can go ahead and kick off this game. Good Ooh. luck, everybody. Good luck, Heffron. Kill Andy first. Hey! <laughs> Don't do it. It's just like riding a bicycle. Yeah. Or killing a bicycle first. It's like killing a bicycle. You never <laughs> forget. <laughs> awesome. Uh, we're just going to play this this mountain. Also, chat and people viewing, not in chat. Uh, this is also our Baldur's Gate episode. Yeah, I'm right. I guess it yeah. Is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Christine with a rate of 20. Hey, Bobby Hello, Christine. Oh. Welcome, welcome. Wow, we're finally done with the, the birthday bonanza of three days of streaming. Bobby Christine was... Oof. <laughs> Draw. All right. Uh, I'm going to play an island. I'm going to play a Triton Shore Stalker, a 1-1 unblockable rogue. Pass the turn. All right. Draw. I'm going to... I'm gonna play Commander Staple Havenwood Battleground. Oh yeah. Mm. So it comes into play tapped, uh, taps for a green, or I can sacrifice it and tap it to add two green mana to my mana pool. Seems good. Pass it on over to Bert. All right, let's draw. Well, somebody has to have it because it's still an uncommon. Oh. Uh, so. <laughs> Let's go ahead and play this Soul Ring. Oh my yeah, goodness. Let's go. <laughs> uh, that'll, that'll be it, though. We're just going to go play the Soul Ring and pass. All right. We are going to draw. Oh, I actually cut off Thingy. I like Thingies. All right. Planes tap. We will play a Mirror Shield Ooh. and pass a turn. All right. Um, island. And then I will play. Us. I'm gonna. We're gonna swing at Bert, partly yeah. because initiation into Scrap Crawlers, <laughs> partly because turn, turn one soul. One, on okay. one damage is our hazing ritual here at the Scrap Crawlers. Right. <laughs> right. And and then I'll follow up with a uh, Simic Signet, unless you got some kind of uh, colorless effect that I don't know about. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Nope. All right, and we're gonna ship the turn after that. All right, untap and draw. Let's do a swamp. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tap the battleground for two green mana and cast my commander, Aranus, Gloom Stalker. Three, three with death touch. When it attacks, I bring a land from my graveyard back to play. And that'll be it for me. That's pretty good. Oh wow. Okay, yeah. Mm. Don't worry, Nick won't let me keep it out for long. <laughs> what? Although he's not playing blue, so maybe I have a chance. The swamp. Wow, this is weird. So I'll play Mentor of the Meat. Ooh yeah. Um and then It's so weird. Yeah, but this is <laughs> this is weirder. And... It's gonna get weirder next turn. Just, just I, I'm gonna play this skull clamp. What? Yes. Oh. Uncommon baby. But you're not gonna. I'll, I'll pass turn. I, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. Oh my goodness. Hey Bert, how much? Uh, how much of that was your budget? Like, <laughs> um, that is exactly. So, forty dollars was what I came up to. Ooh. And so, I mean, that's good. Wait, See, you had room for it. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's 
up there, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna leave that mana open and pass the turn. Oh my goodness. Are we... We playing uh, the reality chip deck here. Were you just gonna <laughs> land pass every turn? That deck was so Whoa. bad. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm gonna just cast uh, my commander, uh, Halson, Emerald Archdruid, and I will uh, pass the turn. It was literally like Seinfeld the deck. It's a deck about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Untap, upkeep, draw. Um, let's do. Yeah, do another commander staple, a Hickory Woodlot. I just yes. play the most ridiculous lands. So it comes in tapped, um, and it comes in with two depletion counters. I remove one to add two green mana. Once I remove the depletion counters, it gets sacrificed. Um, go to combat. <laughs> I know Nick's just, like, holding that mana just for me. I just know it. Uh, I am. But I guess I'm going to make him do it. I'll attack Nick. And uh, with the Aranus trigger, I will get back the Havenwood Battleground. All right. Nothing too scary here. We're going to play. You see a pair of goblins. So I'm going to make two goblins. Okay. And one of them will block. Sounds good. They they die very much. Yes. Okay, uh, that's all I got. Pass the turn. All right. Let's tap and draw. All right, so let's play another swamp. I got total of five mana. So, we all know what Stoll Clamp does, but what if I told you it's going to do nothing? I wouldn't believe you. Because... <laughs> Well, no, I should play my commander first, actually, now that I don't think about it. Because that's something we can do. So, let's cast Minthara. And... I believe I will pay the one when she comes in. For Mentor of the Meat. And... So, yeah. My plans were delayed another turn, but Minthara is just that important. Um, I can't go to combat though. I'm open. You are open. Yeah, let's go ahead and get two in it, Andy. You got it. Ouch, ouch. And I will pass the turn. All right. You will draw. Um, we did not get the mana we needed, so we'll just make more. Spirit Prospector. Oh, man. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> How much of your budget is that? That is about a quarter. <laughs> okay. It's only a quarter? It's only it's, a quarter. It's such a combo it's a power thing house. here. Yeah. Um, man, do I, uh... Do I burn them now? No, I don't need to burn them now. I can block. I'll pass. Burn them. All right. I'll on top. I'll keep. Draw. All right. I'll play Fairy Conclave Tap. Right there. Uh, it's something I can animate to uh, attack people with. We're going to go ahead and we're going to pay. Uh, play Feywild Visitor. Yeah. All right. Uh, so Nick mentioned blocking. Uh, and I'm going to show Nick <laughs> the futility of blocking against something that says it cannot be blocked. I suppose I will take it. Okay. All right. Uh, that is uh, me making a fairy dragon. Hot, hot, hot. Yeah. It's FD. Uh... <laughs> FD. <laughs> I'll pass the turn. All right. Untap. Keep and I realize draw. I never told chat what I did. I think Lander does. Oh, well, I'll tell them later. Um, let's do swamp. Um, well, that was dumb. I'm stupid. No. Yeah, I'm dumb. Okay, 
we're going to sacrifice the Havenwood Battleground to make two green mana. I'm going to use one to cast an Adventuring Gear, which now you know why playing my land first was stupid, and the other one to equip to Aranus. Uh, so landfall, whenever a land enters a battlefield under my control, equipped creature gets plus two, plus two. Um, okay, and then I'm going to do two green plus a black. I'm going to cast Harrow mm -hmm. as an additional cool. cost to cast it. I sacrifice a land. I search my library for up to two basic land cards and put them onto the battlefield. Everybody good with that? It's pretty sweet. Good. Uh, yeah, I have mm -hmm. feelings about it, but I'm not stopping it. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll sacrifice the swamp. I'm going to go get two forests, and they come in untapped. Uh, trigger adventuring gear twice. Aranus is now a 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay, anything else? Um, nope, I will go to combat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send this 7-7 seven, seven death touch at Lenny, and I'm going to, with the attack trigger, bring back Havenwood Battleground, and Aranus will become a 9-9. Nine, nine. Stick is sweet. Right, so, Fairy Dragon. Sorry, bro. Oh, no! <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to be doing much if everybody's got all these tokens to block for days, but uh, still having fun. Um, then I will pass a turn. Okay. Right to have. That's strong. Okay. Let's play a planes. So, what is the best way to do this? And he's been playing the commander staple, so let's 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 keep that going. And let's let's do the unthinkable. So we're gonna play Commander Staple Extractor of Sin. What is this? <laughs> um an extractor of sins and or extric extricticator of sin, I'm sorry. Uh Extricator of sin. Extric <laughs> Yeah. Extricator. It, extricator. Tight. <laughs> Words are hard. Whenever it enters the battlefield, I can sacrifice another permanent. Um, if I do, I make a 3 2 colorless Eldrazi horror creature. Um, I'm going to sacrifice a skull clown. Whoa. What? Yeah. You spent so much yeah. money on it. Um, I did. And then I will also. It's definitely worth the flex. Oh. <laughs> yeah, definitely worth the flex. I will draw one off him into it. Yeah, I'll make a uh, a three two for sacrifice on this little account. Um, but I don't know what else we're gonna do because I'm open. Everybody got stuff. Yeah, but attacking you that that was a scary last turn. Yeah. Um. And and Lenny, how big is it's a two, uh, it's four? A two four? Why is it a two four? <laughs> I... Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I think we just stay the course, and I will pass turn. I'll move to my instep. And at the beginning of my instep, if a permanent I control left the battlefield, which it did, um, I gain an experience counter, um, and then. Minthara gets Ward X, where equal to my experience counters, and then creatures I control get plus one plus O for each experience counter I have. So she basically has a background. She does too much. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'll pass turn. All right. End of the turn. We're going to do the unthinkable and eat both the goblins. Lonnie. 
Hmm. We are, uh, we're not doing well. Uh, big score. Oh, nice. So I'm going to discard Rally the Peasants. Draw two cards. Oh, we got to land. Oh, we got there. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll make two treasure. And then I will go to my turn. Um, ooh, this is fun. Andy, I'm going to help you by attacking you. Is that, does that make sense? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Everyone's going to love yeah. this. <laughs> uh, so we got Tuck Tuck Rubble Fort, Defender Reach, and all my creatures have haste. And then I'm going to sack one treasure. Can't attack me with spell. that. But I can attack you with one of my favorite arts from Baldur's Gate, <laughs> Marching Duo Drone. <laughs> hey, yo. Whoa. This thing is like straight out of Fallout. Like, it is creepy sick. as hell. So whenever it attacks, each player gets a treasure. <laughs> this is kind of haste. I'm going to go to all combat, right. Andy. Yeah, you got it. I will make get a treasure. A treasure. And I'll take two. See, oh, look at this. Right Bert is my treasure. Yes. <laughs> Bert brand treasure. <laughs> I will pass the turn. All right. I'll untap. I'll keep. Draw. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to turn my Fairy Conclave into a 2-1 blue flying creature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, so we're going to go. Uh, Halston is going to go at Andy. Triton Shorestalker is going to go at Bert. And the Fairy Conclave is going to go at Nick. Is it a 2-1? Two, 2-1 one? Two, one flyer. And you can make your tokens bigger, right? Okay. Yeah, correct. I would like to block with my zero three defender with reach. <laughs> oh yeah, it does have reach. It has oh, reach. Dang. <laughs> and I was less reading that card and everything. Okay, that's fine. I only had two fairy dragon tokens anyway. <laughs> I have no blocks. I'll be taking two Halson damage. I'll take one. Alright, I get two fairy dragons. And then second main phase. Just kind of you know what? I'm feeling pretty good with the situation as it is. I'm gonna play a skull clamp. What? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and I'll pass the turn. Oh goodness! Well, yeah, this is I'm, a lot better than mine was. I'm feeling a little left out. I don't have a skull clamp. Oh, um, shoot! End of turn, real quick. Uh, Tranquil Thicket cycled to draw a card. Yeah. All right. Uh, untap up, you draw. Um, let's do. Land for turn is a swamp. Uh, trigger landfall. I'm going to pay two, four, uh, five, and six for a Marasa Behemoth. So that is a 5-5 five, five with Trample that gets plus 3, plus 3 as long as I have a land card in my graveyard. So it's an 8-8 eight, eight Trample. Hmm. Trample's pretty good. That is the word on the street. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go to combat. Yeah. I'll be sending Aranus at Lenny. Uh, attack trigger will bring back um, we'll bring back the Havenwood Battleground since that's been doing me so well. So Aranus is now a 7-7 seven, seven with Death Touch. Great. Fairy Dragon. Block. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, second main, I'm going to cast my other commander, Scion of Halister. So first time I draw each turn, I look at my top two, put one in my grave, and one into my hand. 
I will pass the turn. P the T. Yeah, we're fine here. Let's untap. Oh, that's a pretty sweet card. So I am going to buff up all my creatures. This is going to be nice. So let's wait on that, man. This is a 1-3. This is a 4. So what do we want to do? A technic. I'm giving people treasures. I gave you bird. <laughs> you did give me bird, didn't you? You gave me... The gift of myself. <laughs> um, let's tap two and play a throne of gift. So, um, uh -oh. thank you for the, the, the me, but I can sacrifice an artifact to proliferate, um, which works really well. Um, and then I have not played a land, so let's see if we can draw one. Uh... I am going to cast one of my favorite commons ever, actually. Uh, Vulture's Aven. Nice. Um, when it comes in, I'm going to exploit Extractor of Sin. And... Don't say it, Andy. Uh, yeah, don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you mean to now. say... <laughs> uh, I'll draw two cards and then lose two life. <laughs> Clippy just shows up. <laughs> um, I don't think I've played a land because I don't think I had one, so I'll play the swamp. And yeah, let us. So what do you what do you have over here, Nick? A zero three with defender and reach. That's okay. And then and Mr. House from Fallout. <laughs> <laughs> I do love Fallout. Um, and then Lenny has uh, just one FD, right? Yeah, just one. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's swing. Let's move to combat. And let's swing this 4-2 at Nick. And then... Two three threes at Lenny. Uh, that's gonna cost you. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Andy Flurry? Thanks for the resub, Andy buddy. Oh, my, my commander has Ward One right now. I will so. block with my fairy dragon. Yeah, how big is it? Uh, uh, it's okay. gonna be four four. Oh, oh yeah! I'll try to make this a four-four uh, bear fairy dragon. I forgot about that. Uh, which one? You block my commander, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, well, before. Well, no, I can do that anytime. So yeah, okay. Um, so you're taking the three. Yeah. Or a two, I guess it would be, since I don't have the thing. Oh no, you you would have her when I take the damage. I don't have. Her okay. Straight. Oh, true. Okay. All right, and then Nick, what you did? You block the uh, the four. I will not. Okay. All right, and so in that case, I don't get another experience counter. Big set. I will just uh, move to my end step and pass turn. All right. You untap upkeep and draw. Well, I don't think I have the scariest board right now, so maybe maybe Gut will stick around. Mm. Uh, we're gonna find out. Three mana, playing Gut, True Soul Zealot. So it's a two-two. Whenever I attack, I may sacrifice another creature or artifact. If I do, I get a four-one black skeleton soldier, no, just skeleton creature token with menace. It's tapped and attacking. 
Far One with Menace is pretty terrifying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit. Um, I'm also going to, because I want to keep the value train going. Oh, wait. Oh, I have to sacrifice both of those? Hmm, maybe you can't do that. Um, Lenny. Uh huh. If I swung Marching Duo drone at you, would you block it? Oh, God, no. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> um, then. I'm gonna go get a treasure token right now. Yeah, in that case, I'm going to, I guess, just go to combat. No, I lied. I'm not going to combat yet. What? How do you lie to me? I'm going to the triggers like this. Sacrifice those treasures and tap a mountain for goblin war drums. Just kidding. You can't tap it anyway. You can't block it. Oh, yeah. It. I couldn't have blocked anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So all of my creatures now have menace. Uh, uh, I would like to go to combat. Um, Andy, I will swing gut at you, and Lenny, I'll swing the duo drone at you, getting a treasure. We all get a treasure, right? Everybody? Good. Yeah. We all get a treasure. I'm going to yeah. trigger gut get this and sacrifice the treasure, the treasure for a skeleton with double menace. It's a 4-1. Um, we're going to send, I can send that one anywhere, right? Does it have to be just, attacking that same player or no? It just, just says, I think, attacking attack attack anywhere you want. Well. Okay, then uh, let's spread the love. This one's going to go to Bert. Okay. Damage. All right, I'm getting uh, two, Take four. two damage in the gut. <laughs> yep. What, uh, what uh, in the what gut? Did you, <laughs> 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 did you say what, what in the gut? What? Okay, that's okay. that's me. I'm done. All right. Well, let's, uh, can't let's untap. Done <laughs> Upkeep draw. Say what? Uh, what? In the gut. I will play uh, my first green source from a land in Treetop Village. Hey. Oh, it's tapped. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we're we're doing good on mana. Doing good. What do, I, what do I want to do with my life here? Uh, let's 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 do some attacks. Uh, all right. So Nick, if I attack with my Triton Shore Stalker, are you gonna block it? Trick uh, no, I owe you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'll just leave the Fairy Dragon open, so I'll make another Fairy Dragon. Yeah. I will take one. And second mainsies, uh, let's go ahead and let's play an invisible stalker. Mm -hmm. I can totally see it, by the way. Uh, not, ooh, actually, let's... Do so you notice that invisible stalker's not wearing pants? <laughs> and it's opening its coat. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> it's invisible, okay? <laughs> What's up, Knight of uh, Bawa? Thanks for the resub. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clamp the, uh, the older fairy dragon, and I'll draw two Old cards. Old empty. Everybody's so. clamping but me. I did not put skull clamp in my deck, Andy. Would have been great if there was four ones. Mm -hmm. At least ahead. until your background until the is six out. Threes. <laughs> yeah. Notable common arcane signet, and I will pass the turn. All right, untap, upkeep, and draw. So now with the Scion out and I have my commander, I'm going to look at my top two, put one in my hand and one in my graveyard. Thanks for the uh, resub, Knight. I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to put Grizzly Salvage in my graveyard. And this card in my hand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're gonna play a land for turn. So that's gonna be a Blighted Fen. Mm. Mm. Uh, I could pay five sacrifice at target opponent sacrifices a creature. Uh, that'll trigger the landfall on the adventuring gear. Make Aranus a 5 5. Um.
I think Nick is open. I yeah, I'm not gonna block. Hmm. I mean, like, he kind of uh, got a thick thick over though. Okay, I'm gonna um, before combat. We'll do one. Uh, two, three, and I'm gonna cast a tireless provisioner. Oh no! Whenever land enters the battlefield on my control, I make a food tr token or a treasure token. Because you know I need more treasures. Um, and I will go to combat. I will send Aranus at Nick. It's currently a five-five with death touch. Uh, attack trigger. I will bring back. Hickory Woodlot, making Aranus a 7-7. Seven, seven. I will not block. Okay. okay, like, Adventuring Gear has never done this much work in any other deck, any any <laughs> other commander game. Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, trigger on Tireless Provisioner. Let's go ahead and... Um, I guess I'll make another treasure. Okay... Okay. After that, um, I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. Uh, end of your turn, I'm going to tap Throne of Gift to sack a treasure to get another experience counter. Boop, boop. All right. Let us untap. Okay. So let's be more careful this time that I will recast Nintharo. Now she has a ward dose. Um, so I still have two. So, with that giving me treasures, Throne of Geth's premium is higher. I like that a lot. So what do I get rid of? I guess the answer is nothing. One, two, three, four, six. Six cards in hand. Alright, let's move to combat. Um... Man, Lenny has mana, so no. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fool me once. <laughs> um, God, but why is he, why is attacking Lenny so satisfying? <laughs> <laughs> no uh, comment. It just uh, <laughs> you you have played games with me. You understand why. <laughs> All right, well, I do have this 4-3 uh, Voltress Haven. I will swing at swing at Andy, a 4-3 in the air. In the air? I don't have flyers. In the air. All right, I'm taking four. Down to 28. All right, second main phase. Uh, I mean, let's throw in a gift to uh, put another experience counter buff my creatures I'm sacking this treasure then I move to my end step and since something left the battlefield a permanent left the battlefield I will uh, get another experience counter oh that's good yeah wow so your creatures all have plus 4 plus 0 now huh yep this is fine Mithara has ward 4 that's fine I will pass the turn Sorry, Duo Drone, I think uh, your time has come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we top decked a land. We are so good at this game. <laughs> I, I, for one, am like, why didn't I put Duo Drone in this deck? Because, wow. Honestly, I'm kind of feeling the same way. I could turn my treasures into, for, into bears, too. <laughs> this card's so good. Uh, I'll pay three mana. We're going to play Inspiring Leader. 
So uh, yeah, now the uh, the skeletons are the twelve foot ones from Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and they we're are to quite big. So, eh, let's see. We have Menace. Everybody's got two creatures. So, Gut, you're going to stay back. Um, Alright. Combat, combat. Duo Drone. Doesn't matter where it's going, because so it's going to get sacrificed. Um, I think it's going to get sacrificed, right? Yeah, it needs to die. So that's going to go at, we'll say, we'll say Lenny. And the skeleton's gonna go with Bert. So we'll each get a treasure. And I will sacrifice the duo drone to make another 12 foot skeleton. That's gonna go at. Um, that one's also gonna go at Lenny. So we got one at Bert, one at Lenny. They are 6 3 menace. That's six? so much. Um,. I want to take uh, six damage though. That's like yeah, kinds of damage. It's just gonna wipe out my treasures, but you know what? This is fine. Uh, I'm gonna sacrifice one of my treasures, and I'm gonna tap my uh, arcane signet, and I will turn both of these treasures into bears, and I will block your six three menace with two four four bear treasures. Sick. I will kill one of the treasure bears. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm sitting here. I think I just take. Because I don't want to double block. That feels bad. Menace is. Oof, I'll take Menace six. is like almost unblockable. <laughs> In this economy, it absolutely is unblockable. <laughs> In a world where I could not find intangible virtue. <laughs> oh, yes, because vigilance is all you need to make this like <laughs> that much more of a horror mm -hmm. show. Okay, um, after that, I will pass the turn. All right, uh, untap. All right, do a drone. That was a good card. I like that one. Fun while it lasted. Oh, chat. Um, what's your favorite commander from Baldur's Gate? Right, since it's incidental Baldur's Gate episode. <laughs> yes, we did not plan this. It just happened. The theme tonight is Artisan, so we're all playing... Only cards that are common and uncommon rarity. And we just happen to... like... Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> we just happen to all play Commanders from Baldur's Gate. It's almost like they have a bunch of really good uncommon commanders. It does. Mm -hmm. It absolutely does. Uh, okay, we're gonna... Oh, this deck is just does not have anything to do with green mana, huh? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna activate the Fairy Conclave. And then I'm going to use the... We're going to do this. All right. Uh, Nick, you're going to get the Triton Shore Stalker. Again? Bert, you're getting the Invisible Stalker. Mm -hmm. Andy, you're getting the uh, Fairy Conclave. And then, Nick, you're going to get the oh. Fairy Dragon. Ah, everybody's getting a little piece. Yeah, um... Mm. If I no, we're like gonna, the we're gonna... Four, you're gonna make it a 4-4. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make it a 4-4 anyway. And I do like my haste. Um, I'm not gonna declare blocks. I have no blocks. I can't block I flyers. Mm -hmm. How big is the land? Two? Uh, two one, yeah. Okay. I take two. Alright, and that is uh, a bunch of opponents taking... Uh, that so I get one. I guess we'll use these card kingdom dragons that are like five five. <laughs> They're cute. Uh, and then I'm assuming you're gonna pump that one, right? Yeah, yeah, I did pay the Perfect. mana for it. I will be at twenty two. Okay, is there anything like super problematic? Yes, but is there anything I can do about that? Um, hmm. I think I need my blockers, so I'm gonna cast chart a course. 
I'll draw two cards, and since I attacked with a creature, uh, I don't have to discard one. Well, okay then. I will uh, just pass the turn. Okay. Uh, untap. Upkeep and draw. Slant of Halister. I will look at the top two. Um, I'm going to put the Binding of the Titans in my graveyard. Um, let's see. Let's do... Sacrifice the battleground for two green mana. And then one more. I will cast Retreat to Kazandu. Yes. So that is Ooh. another uh, landfall. Uh, whenever land enters, I put a plus one plus one counter on a target creature, or I gain two life. Um, I'm going to... Gonna move the adventuring gear over to the behemoth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I will play a land. It is a tectonic edge. Trigger here, giving the behemoth plus two plus two, and I'll trigger retreat to Kazandu. I'll put a plus and plus one counter on Aranus. Um. Go to combat. I'm sending the Behemoth at Lenny. Currently a 10 10 with Trample. Aranus at Ooh. Nick. Uh, trigger with Aranus. I will bring back the Havenwood Battleground. Um, another plus two, plus two here. And then we'll put another counter on Aranus, making it a 5 5. So, uh, the Behemoth is now a 12 12, Lenny. And Aranus is a 5 5, Nick. Okay. Before we go to declare blocks, I have to spell. Oh. I'll play Raise the Alarm. I'm going to make two 3 3 soldiers. Okay. I'm also going to make a food with the Provisioner. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess I'm just going to take the 12. And then hope that everybody is no longer scared at me because I have the second lowest life total. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to double block Aranus. Okay. Um, how big are they? Six. Uh, it's a 3-3 three, three and a 3-3. Three, three. Dang. That's going to kill Aranus. I didn't want you to do that. Why'd you swing at me? Because I hate you. Uh, oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um. Yeah, I guess Aranus is dead. Both my soldiers are dead. Long live Aranus. All right. Um, you have enough mana to recast. <laughs> I have enough mana, definitely. <laughs> Second main. Let's go ahead and uh, four treasures plus tectonic edge. I'll recast Aranus. Oh, so so by the way, you know how I said I went through seven builds of artisan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What you're doing is number five. That this... was my number three. <laughs> <laughs> you all did, cool. you all tried this the Aranus Halister? Oh wow. yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Well, now I don't feel so cool. Just... <laughs> Everybody else did it. Well, you got some. I mean, if they didn't mean to do it, it, we just hey, da, 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 da. don't try don't try and walk it back now. I know you're all saying that. Beast is pretty uh pretty great. Um, yeah, that beast tick. I'm gonna go to my end step and pass the turn. Okay. Are you also playing wood crashing bailouts? 
Untap. Uh, I don't think so. Draw. This should be in the graveyard. Man, there is a lot going on in this game. Yeah, I'm waiting for it's true. a board wipe in Arson. <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, I didn't even think about that. There is uh, not really such a thing, is there? Uh, there's Slaughter the Strong, which was reprinted at Uncommon in Commander Legends. And Commander Legends Baldur's Battle for Baldur's Gate. Hmm. Alright, so five. I'm going to play Rakshasa Gravecrawler. Um, it's going to come in... And I'm going to exploit Mentor the Meek. So I will make two Black Zombie tokens that are huge. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Two. Yep. Some six twos. I'm just waiting for you to drop Inspiring later. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be all over. I, uh,. I'm so excited. This deck is working just about how I wanted it to. Just about. Um, so talk to me. Hi, that how are you? Is mech making skeletons that hurt? Eleni is making... Man, man, Invisible Stalker is hexproof. Yeah. He's invisible. <laughs> And then, then we got all these these fairy dragon tokens. Sounds like you should kill Lenny. Just, just, just saying. Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, you didn't say Nick, so I'm okay with it. Do whatever you want. <laughs> you can kill Nick second. Wh once again, wow. <laughs> I think. No, I think let's let's, let's move to combat. So this is a six-three in the air. In the air. That don't really do nothing against Lenny though. I'm just gonna buff a dragon token, a fairy dragon, and then who else we got? I can't block flyers. Ever. Nick, do you have secret reach? His, I, I do have secret reach. His defender has... Oh, that's right! Yeah. His defender <laughs> has a random reach. Okay. And that'll put... I'll put you at 20. Well, it's not personnel. Way. It's just business. Oh. It's just business. So. for the sky. Let's move to combat, and I'm going to swing this Vulture's Aven at Andy in the air. It's 10? Oh, 6. It's only 6. six. It's, okay. It's, yeah. Okay. Unless you want to take 10. Not really. I'm at 20. <laughs> I... I will uh, pass turn. All right. We're going to untap, upkeep, and draw. Well, we drew the $6 version of Mirror Shield, so that's fun. Hey. Hmm. Um, okay. So we got to play some interaction now, right? I mean, no. You could just, like, kind of just let us do our thing and let me enjoy my very pretty board state. <laughs> it is very pretty. What if I were to make your commander a treasure? Uh, you mean his creature would... commander? 
Yes, creature command. Mm -hmm. Oh, either one works. It's a non-land permanent. I would be sad about that. Minathara is pretty much untargetable. Indeed. Yep. Okay. I'm assuming that's happening. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, we're going to pay two, and we're going to put Mirror Shield onto Gut. So I can finally block oh, Enris no. because I always forget the <laughs> second half of that text. That oh. is very relevant. Mistakes were made. Okay, we will go to combat. Um, we're gonna swing this. We, we gotta swing, right? Hey, Geek Beardly. Uh, hey, Geek. All right, Bird. We're swinging a six-three at you. I'm gonna sacrifice this treasure. And yeah, a, we'll, we'll a swing six, another three. six three at you. A six three six three menaces? Yeah. Jeez. What did I do? <laughs> it's what you're gonna do. <laughs> oh man, am I the drama? <laughs> well, you're just you're just so experienced. I am very experienced, but that that like wrecks my board. In a way that I don't like at all. Okay, but if I don't lock, that puts me in. Lenny could just... Okay, wait, no. Lenny doesn't have commander. Man, I'm gonna just... I'm, I want to keep my board, because I want to I wanna alpha strike, so... I'm gonna I'm take 12, you say? Yes. I, I don't know what I did to you, but... Revengeance... <laughs> it's coming. Bert's coming mm -hmm. for you. Rules of nature. Cool. Um, I am tapped out and I will pass a turn. Oh, I'd love to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to untap, upkeep. Hey, uh, Geek. Thanks for the resub, buddy. Ooh, Much appreciated. That is so nice and kind of you, Geek, to do that. It's going to be like the complete opposite of what's going to happen right here. Uh, <laughs> first of all, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to cast Callous Dismissal. Uh, I will target the Minimus Containment. Sweet. Uh, that means I amass one. This is how you draw cards in Boros. You're an ass one? Yeah. Is that what you said? Uh, that's what. I'm, <laughs> yeah, that is exactly what I said. <laughs> uh, actually, let's. I'm gonna tap differently. I want to tap like that. Oh, uh, wow. I need. I, I need my. I need my blue mana, uh, because we're gonna be playing. Because I have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow! I messed that up. My bad. Uh -oh. uh, I'll play a junk winder. Oh, no. let's go. <laughs> I junk love winder. Oh my god. That winding. I love it when it's on my board. Not anywhere else. Yeah. But wait, there's more. Huh. Yeah. There's always more with Lenny. Uh, I'm going to cast Sleep, targeting Bert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh no! Wow. It's uh, all my suits. Okay. <laughs> Bert, are you all feeling love. um? Are you feeling, feeling the love? Loved. You feeling the yeah, love? Yeah, I'm feeling love right now. No. The new that's, scrap trailer in love. love. Everybody's uh, yeah. It's like, is this a Lion King track? Because I'm feeling the love tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna go to combat. We're gonna swing Halson at uh. We're gonna swing Halson at Bert. Mm -hmm. uh, Invisible Stalker at Andy and uh, the Triton Store Stalker at Nick. <laughs> no, get away from and me. And then, uh, let's see, what am I? Mm, these skeletons are frustrating. We're going to get two fairy dragons at uh, Nick. 
and two fairy dragons at Andy. Oh, okay. I'm, I, I gotta block one of them now. My secret yeah. reach. Yeah, well, the tokens don't, the tokens don't do the thing for my commander. But you do have one mana open. I, yeah. I do, yes. Yeah, is any anybody getting uh, pumped? I have no blocks, obviously. Nah, nah, I'm not. I'm not throwing any pumps. All right, so is that three three damage coming at me? Uh, yes. Two dragons and one stalker. Okay. Going to nineteen. Two at me. Seventeen. Yeah. All right, so I guess we'll use these spirits to represent fairy dragons. Okay, so uh, three tokens entered the battlefield, so I'm gonna freeze uh, that thing that has the adventuring gear. Uh, and then I'm gonna freeze both of Nick's skeletons. Now my skeletons. So rude. And then I guess yeah. you know I'm just gonna crack the treasure and I will clamp uh one of my fairy dragons, one of my tapped fairy dragons actually, because that's uh, that's how I play smart magic. Uh. And then I'll draw two cards. And that's a treasure that I spent for that. So, yeah. Okay. And with that, I will uh, pass the turn. I'm really yeah. glad that duo drone's gone now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, end of turn. I'm going to sacrifice my food to gain three life. All right. Untap. That does not untap. Uh, draw, Cyan of Halister. I'll look at my top two. Uh, I'm going to put Myriad Landscape in my graveyard. Let's, um, let's move the gear over to Aranus. I will play my land. It is a swamp. Uh, trigger landfall. Plus two, plus two on the gear. Um, put a plus one, plus one counter on Aranus. And I will make another food. I'm going to pay a black for a blood fountain. Love blood fountain. When it enters the battlefield, I make a blood. Um, what else? One second. Let me get my blood. Make a blood. Um, I can pay three and a black, sacrifice blood fountain, return up to two target creature cards from my graveyard to my hand. Which is wholly irrelevant at this moment. Okay. Um... Well, without Trample, I can't really get through to Lenny because he's got tokens for days. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm tapped out. And Nick's got the mirror shield, so I can't attack him <laughs> either. <laughs> I came prepared. Yeah. Uh, so I guess... Yeah... Guess I'm gonna pick on Bert. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it'll be a uh, six six. Okay. I'll take six. Um, I get a trigger on Aranus. I will bring back Myriad Landscape. Oh God. Um, so that's gonna be an extra two for Aranus. Um, we'll put a plus and plus one counter on the tireless provisioner and i'm gonna um make another food okay so that's another two okay um that will be That'll be it. I'll pass the turn. 
Okay. So my dudes don't untap. Draw. Let's play the swamp. So this doesn't really help, but it's really cool. Um, I will sack this treasure, tap the soul ring, tap one. And I'll play Lulu, Loyal Holo Holophant. Um, so it has flying, and then at the beginning of your end step, if a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn, put a plus one counter on each tapped creature you control, then untap them. <laughs> hey, hey, wait oh, a minute. Oh, man. <laughs> too bad it's the end step. <laughs> um, yeah, too bad it's the end step. Um, so that's, there's that. And then I... I don't want y'all, or I guess us. I'm still here right now. <laughs> <laughs> For how long? To have to fight through a junk winder. Yeah. So, let's tap I three. Mean, I want that, but. <laughs> I know you do. Uh, let's tap three. And then let's play a commander staple bone shredder. Nice. Oh, yeah. We know where that's going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, I like this deck bird. Thank you. And then I will, uh, yeah, I'll move to end step. Uh, treasure left, so we will get an experience. Um, at your end step, I'm going to sacrifice my blood right away. Okay. I'm going to discard this uh, peat bog. And then that will trigger Sign of Halster since it's the first card, of, card I'm drawing this turn. So I'll look at my top two. And we'll put this forest into the graveyard okay well, I don't know put yeah. counters on my stuff that happens too yeah oh boy yeah it is. Yeah. I mean they don't fly My goodness but, but we look scary <laughs> well one flies actually oh, I got but all flies. my hard work for casting a four man spell is just undone <laughs> undone <laughs> well I mean he couldn't attack so that was uh, that was the important thing all right, oh, my skeletons yeah. are cold. Hey, you land. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> Andy's technically open for business. It would only be for two, but then I'd leave myself open. Um. <laughs> yeah, tagging with your only creature. That sounds like uh. I mean, I'm dead in the air to Lenny. I'm dead everywhere to Bert. Mm. You can trample over and be gross. And my skeleton is going to be tapped anyway. I don't have trample. The miscontainment on Bert wouldn't do anything because Bert's Actually, you know what? I'm not scared yeah. of Bert. I'm going to pass the turn. You're not scared of me? <laughs> no, I just looked at my hand again. I'm like, oh, that's nice. Lightning bolt. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Got him. All right, well, I'll untap with a bunch of reach. I'll keep draw. All right. Let's, uh, let's play some stuff out. I'm gonna play uh, Siren Storm Tamer. Uh, flying one one, and when I can pay a blue and sacrifice it to counter target spell or ability that targets me or a creature I control. Um, let's go tap this. I swear I have other green cards in this deck, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna play Military Intelligence. So whenever I attack with uh, two or more creatures, I draw a card. Okay. Seems decent. So, so we gotta do something about some people. Not me. Hey, everybody! Look out! Everybody is scary. Or maybe I just. <laughs> Maybe I just don't this turn, you know? War Machine cheering for Lenny's shirt. Thank you, friend. 
Oh, thank you. I love this one. Um, you know, let's just get in there. Let's do some damage. That's what, like, the cool kids like to do. Okay. I guess we're going to get a Triton Shore Stalker at Bert. An Invisible Stalker at uh, Nick. I don't have a way to get Hulson through, which is really sad. No blocks. And then... Is that all your attackers? Nah, I'm gonna... We're gonna do something with these fairy dragons. Yeah. I've got so many of them. Uh... I think the correct thing to do is to send them... How many flares you've got, Bert? I have two flyers. Three, right? Uh, oh yeah, three. This elephant flies. <laughs> okay. As they do. Uh, <laughs> I don't have that thing frozen. That's okay. I think I can take this hit. So yeah, yeah I'm just gonna. Shut Whoa. up. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go for Bert this time. But I could kill yeah. Bert, and you could kill Andy, and then you could probably kill me. I mean, yeah, that's true. I'm, I'm okay with the second game. I'm channeling my inner Bobby Christine. Just <laughs> yeah, let's go. No blocks. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah, you're you're absolutely right. Uh, I am gonna go for Andy uh, with one, two, three, four, five flyers that case uh i am gonna hit yeah yeah i'll just leave the rat we're rat and we'll just before we go to blocks mm -hmm. i'm gonna cast massive raid and target bert <laughs> oh Ow! welcome to scrap trawlers five. buddy <laughs> i'll spend i'll spend the five so i have uh one two three four five of them are uh four fours i'm gonna do four damage all to right. bert all right uh so how much damage is coming at me lenny uh 20 in the air Okay. I will, before damage, sacrifice a food to gain three life. No! <laughs> Not in it wasn't supposed to be this. like that. Oh, hey, I draw for military intelligence. I'm taking this invisible stalker. And then I guess right. I'm taking 20, because Nick really wanted me dead really bad. <laughs> I didn't want you dead. I just wanted plenty to swing at you. <laughs> it's different. And I will make another uh, thing because one of my guys connected. And then I will pass the turn. Um, is there anything I'm doing end step? Nope. Eat your food. <laughs> I could only afford to do one because they cost. What do they cost? Two? Oh, Two, I could yeah. afford the other one. Oh, well, it's too late now. All right. Uh, go to my draw, Cyan of Halister. I'll look at my top two. Uh, we're going to put crop rotation in the bin. Uh oh. That legacy staple, crop rotation. Uh, let's... You've got the trample, Andy. You can do it. Let's see. Just not at me. <laughs> well, I'm dead to... I mean, I if I kill one of you, the other one kills me, so... What? I think my move here is to spend... Cast the spell that uh, took up a decent chunk of my budget. Go one, two, and then one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What, what is there for eight? Um, I'm gonna exsanguinate for eight. Oh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a that's a good one too. <laughs> Lenny, counter spell. Uh, uh, yeah, I just have a green mana, so uh, I'm I'm gonna take eight. All right, you're both losing eight, and I'm gaining sixteen. Uh, 
is not enough to save me, but... I don't know. It's a, it's a number. It's a number. I don't have any lands to play, unfortunately. Attacking is probably not a good idea. Um, BRB. All right. Sure. How many blockers do you have, Lenny? Uh, I have a total of four. Got my commander, a single spirit, a zombie, or sorry, a uh, fairy dragon. I just don't have fairy dragon available. Uh -huh. so let's do this to make it easier. Uh, a zombie army and a siren storm came up. And I have a single green mana untapped. Yeah. Uh, um, I guess my best bet then is to rely on Nick to not kill me, <laughs> which I is a <laughs> It's a very <laughs> stupid thing to <laughs> what to do. It's a, it's a new. I'm a new Nick. New scrap trawlers. New Nick. Sure. <laughs> I killed Bird first. Um. So I'm just gonna send this eight eight trample at Lenny. All right. Uh, I will block with my zombie army. I will make it a four four. Yep. Uh, it's got a counter on it, so I'll block three of that damage. Okay. Uh, I feel like maybe I've made a terrible mistake. That'll be it for moi. All right, all right, all right. Skeletons are warm. <laughs> just like mine. That's a creepy thing to say uh, out of context. You know, Andy, your skeleton, the one inside of you right now, it's it's always been wet your whole life. <laughs> sure. Thank you. Do you have a moist skeleton, Andy? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, enough of that. <laughs> um, we are going to pay three, and we're going to Minimus Containment. Um, Enris. Huh? Sure. That is the best target. And it's Erinus. Thank you very much. Erinus. Um, let's go to combat. We came here to do the swingies, so that's what we're going to do. So who's going where? I want to make sure Lenny has to block. Um, we are going to send... Yeah, we're going to send Think, think, think Two skeletons at Lenny Gut at Andy I'm going to sacrifice the rubble fort To Get another skeleton, which I'll have to draw over here. That's going to go with Andy. Okay. Action to you, Lenny. Uh, yeah, I will block. Uh, they have Menace, so I will block with my Siren Storm Tamer and my Fairy Dragon. Okay. So you're blocking one of them and taking the other? Uh-huh. Okay. I, uh, I cannot block at all, so I'm taking, what, eight? I would like to do something before damage. Okay. Uh -oh. I'm going to flash back. Rally the peasants for my graveyard. So all my creatures get an additional plus two plus oh to end a turn. Okay. So that all makes right. it 12 for me. And yep. eight for me. So I will take... I'll go to four. All right. That's six gut damage. You can end me. I'll pass her. I have no blocks. I am tapped out. Okay. Untap. Upkeep. I have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six fairy dragons. 
Four guys add up, right? Draw for turn. I mean, I don't see how Lenny doesn't win here, because... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, each of you gets uh, an unblockable, uh, and then each of you gets three fairy dragons. Mm -hmm. And then... Yep. I can't do anything oh, about flyers. Six. Cool. Any response, Nick, right. or is that game? I am dead. All right. Okay. Lenny Love gets it. the win. Woo! 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 Make sure to check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash scrap trawlers. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the Scrap Trawlers channel.